Now that we have all the template apps created, let's create the actual campaigns app. So let's uh, click add app, create your own app, give it a name, campaigns, item, campaign, give it a picture, I use the clock, table view, nothing in app description, nothing in instructions, app type of standard, and no advanced information needed. So let's create the app. And as usual, first field will be the name field. Single line. The next field will be a text field. This text field will use we'll call it campaign template to use spelled that wrong now what we have to do is just go into the field settings by clicking this down arrow and changing this field to a single line field this field's a little tricky to understand at first because the next field is going to be relationship field in which we want to select the template save and we'll call this the campaign template now the reason why we have basically two identical fields telling us the same information is Globiflow when we import our leads we're going to import the name of the template we want to use for the, the campaign and because I can't populate this field through the import process I have to populate a text field and then Globiflow takes the value of this text field looks up the, the campaign template and then assigns it to this campaign you'll see all how all that works in another video so now we have those three fields set up so far we only want a single reference here Next will be a status field, so this will be a category. Status. And the options will be not started, active, paused, and finished. And single choice and inline. The next field will be print. This is your action field, action category field, which will trigger Podio processes to print the mailings. So print, do nothing. This is where the value rests when nothing's happening. Print letter. You'll select this when you want to launch the Globifold process to print one of your mailings. Now print envelope. Use this one to print the envelope. The next field is the start date. Grab a date field. Drag that down. So this is the date that your campaign will start. And remember back on the, uh, the mailings app, we set the days from start. It will, that field combined with this field will determine which day from the start of the campaign that the mailing should go out. And the options here, we don't need to show the end date, so we can hide the end date, hide the time entry, and show in calendar, and that's it. Well, we don't need to show this in the calendar. Close that. Now, the next field will also be a date field. This will be your next mailing. So this will show the date that the next mailing will go out. So if you're on your first mailing, this will show one day after this one because we've set up the first mailing to be sent out one day after the start date. If we're on the second mailing, this will be 31 days after this. And third mailing, 61 days and so forth. So we also don't need to show the end date or the time entry. 
and you can put that in the calendar. We'll leave that there. And now the final field is the next. We'll add this date to this field just so we don't confuse ourselves. Is a number field which will show us the next mailing sequence. And it will be a whole number. This field will show which sequence we are currently on. So if we've sent out one mailing, this will show two. If we've sent out two mailings, this will show three. If we haven't sent out any, this will show one. And if we're finished, this will be a null, which will be no value. So this is these are the fields for your campaign app. We have name, campaign template to use, campaign template, status, print, start date, next mailing date, and next sequence, next mailing sequence. So it'll be done. Now at this point I can't add any campaigns because we have no leads. And the leads app is the next one I'll show you how to create. And then I'll create another video that shows how this whole thing works together and then we'll be good. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.